Well, here we are, another rainy day in the Pacific Northwest. So we finally got these chickens figured out here. We got a little section of uh, livestock panels, sectioning them off, wrapped with chicken wire, and they've got a nice little run from their coop in there all the way through here to the new pasture. So now we've got the rotating pastures for the chickens. So now we've got this whole garden area opened up, ready to get it tilled up and ready for planting in. And I mean, this is just working out exactly like we wanted it to, man. These chickens took care of all of this. If you watched that video last year or last fall after I let the chickens out and just saw how well they ate all this down. I mean, it was full and I mean, just super full of greens and vegetables and they took care of all of this mess. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link up here in the corner to it. So go watch that. But, uh, we're gonna get to tilling this guy and we just bought a new tiller to get this done with. So let's get that guy out, get it started and see what we can do. So we got the new pole barn built here and we've got the tiller in it now. And uh, this guy is pretty cool so far. So it's a Craftsman 208 cc engine, uh, 18 inch tilling width as you can see, dual direction tines. I'm pretty excited about this. This is my first tiller. And so we're gonna check out how this guy works. Let's get it out there in the garden and get this guy fired up. All right, guys, there it is. So we've got this thing completely tilled up and we are ready to start planting here. We're a little late in the season, but let's get this garden planted. Well, we got everything out here planted about a week ago now, and I'm starting to see little guys here in the corn area crop up. Let's see if we can zoom in and get some of that. See them little corns down there? They're all starting to pop up, but I've looked around and I'm seeing all kinds of stuff starting to pop up. We're getting some weed seeds in there though, because we tilled, still trying to get this whole thing figured out, you know, how we want to do our garden, how we can 
incorporate this method, the chicken method, with the no-till method. That's really our ultimate goal. I just, you know, when I had the chickens in here all year, um, they, you know, they dug down and they made little um, dips in the soil and they, you know, it just, it was all irregular and it would have been tough to plant in, but, uh, and that was one of the main reasons I tilled. Also, I wanted to mix in all the chicken manure from the top layers down in. We'll find out. We're still trying to figure all this out, but I love this. We open this area up and they're really beating that grass down and they're getting tons of greens and uh, the eggs are absolutely fantastic. Well, it's been a good week and a half since we planted and we've got a sea of green going on here. So, you know, obviously there are a ton of weeds in there and I already started hoeing up this little portion right here next to the beets but this is the downside to tilling guys and more and more like i've said in the past my wife and i want to get away from tilling and this is why we want to get away from tilling because of all the weeds and the extra amount of watering but you know it, after the chickens got in here after the chickens got in here and tore it all up there were all kinds of you know dips and rivets and holes and all kinds of areas they had just dug open and we wanted to smooth everything out and i don't know what it is about us as humans we always want to smooth everything out and make it perfect and it's just never going to be perfect and so as we're moving forward we're getting more and more an idea of what's working and what's not and we're getting there but uh you know, after tilling this and seeing all these weeds, I think I gotta get away from the tilling one way or another. So my wife and I have been talking and I think the way this is gonna have to work from now on because we got the wood chips um, with tons of weeds this year, but we didn't have chickens in this whole area over here. And so the weeds were able to come up and we didn't get to them in time. But over in here, the chickens were all eating everything down, so there were no weeds, but then I tilled. And so I think what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna put wood chips in the garden next year, but we're gonna let the chickens in there all the way up until we plant, and then they'll be eating the weeds down in the early spring and we won't have to worry about them. And I think that's gonna be the best way to do it. So, like I said, as we're going, we're learning. We're learning a lot, and I hope you guys are learning from what we're doing here so that you don't have to make the same mistakes. You can just come right out of the gate and make it happen, but you know, it, it takes some time figuring all this out, but uh, I think wood chips are the way to go. We just need to figure out a way to take care of the weeds with the chickens. The chickens are the workers. They're going to be the key in the long run, but uh, we're getting there. Holy smokes, why didn't you guys tell me this was happening? Dang, man. I walk away for one minute and the garden's full of weeds. Well, what are you going to do, you know? So we got a late... He's just... <laughs> that guy's got great timing, doesn't he? So we got a really late start again like we usually do. And the reason we got a late start is because we're trying to figure out how to move the chickens over into another pasture area so that we could open up this garden area again. But last year, we ran a fence from about that post right there up oh, right there we ran it across over to this side johnny and his hands over over here and then we had our garden over there but it was too small we thought so we wanted to open up the whole thing all the way back to the barn and that's what we did but we didn't have that whole area fenced off yet on the other side of that fence and now we do but that's what got our late start we had to fence all of that stuff now they've got a much bigger area they've got a 75 foot by 32 foot i believe area huge area johnny how come you always start talking when i talk so <laughs> i mean this guy will go half the day and not say nothing so they got an apple tree out in this pen too which they didn't have before in this area and it's providing lots of shade so during the day on hot days like this we would normally never see them out like this but what is your problem jeez buddy So normally they would be inside on a hot day like now, but now they're outside because they get to be in the shade and it's pretty cool to see, but that apple tree's loaded this year. Who do you think you are? But look at this guys, the plants that are doing good, I mean everything's doing good, but some of the stuff got killed by weeds. So anyway, back to my story. We got a late start here and I know what I did wrong. I tilled the whole garden up, which that was wrong right to begin with, and I'm learning that more and more now, but uh, 
I tilled it and then all the weed seeds grew. What I should have done if I was gonna till it is till it, wait two weeks for all the little seeds to start sprouting and then go through and flame torch them all and just kill all the weeds and then plant in them. And I wouldn't have had even half, I wouldn't even had a quarter of these weeds. It would have been much better, but we got a late start and weeds need to get planted. And so this is what we've got. But look at this, my wife came through and started weeding a little bit around her, around her beets. And we got some peppers and we got some eggplant going there and man, just lots of weeds. But everything that's there is doing good. We've got bell peppers, we've got some jalapenos, some Anaheim. We got all kinds of good stuff in here. Look at this, guys. Beautiful. We've never planted eggplant before, but my wife wanted to try them. We already got a little... Good Lord, how does anybody get anything filmed around here? We got a beautiful eggplant right there. Isn't that cool? That is just a... That's a beautiful beautiful little plant look at that guys anyway lots more flowers coming on to these guys so we're going to be trying some eggplant we got another one over here we got all kinds look at that isn't that jeez buddy isn't that just beautiful beautiful flowers all over these guys and then we got all of our little peppers like i said and look at this we got little peppers growing on these guys look at that down in there all kinds of neat little things going on oh and she also got some pepperoncinis in there somewhere these are what we're really excited about. So we got lots of green beans. You know what, dude? You have always got a problem with me. You've had a problem with me for years now. I don't know what your problem is, but you better get yourself under control. Do you understand me? Huh? Do you understand me? You better get yourself under control right now. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. Yeah, you heard me. <laughs> so you've got all our green beans over here and we go through a ton of dilly beans I don't know if you guys have ever planted dilly beans or canned dilly beans but uh, my wife loves them my kids love them and we go through so many dilly beans quarts of dilly beans every year through the fall and winter and spring and always hoping we're not going to run out but our green beans are doing awesome we plant a ton of them and we've got a ton of them about to start coming on here soon. Like I said, we're late, but we'll get it all. It'll all start happening here pretty soon, and we'll be canning. Now this area right here, we knew we planted late, but I've got cabbage and broccoli and all that. Should have never planted it this time of year, but doesn't matter. We're not gonna get anything out of there. It's just all weeds. But the important thing is, these weeds are all gonna go to good use. All this stuff is gonna be eaten by the chickens once we uh let them back in here so this is all greenery for the chickens so i just i love this method rotating chicken pastures man and gardening to go along with them here was some lettuce we did got a late start but we could come out here and probably harvest some of that they're surrounded by weeds i had some spinach over there i know i know guys trust me next year is going to be a hundred times better but look here's my wife's pride and joy the corn and she went in there and weeded all that out and weeded all around it. And she put the lawnmower clippings around it. Look at those big, beautiful corn, man. Don't they look awesome? And they're so green. They're so beautiful and deep green and healthy. And you know why I think that is, guys? I think it's because of the chicken poop. Don't tell anybody. That chicken poop is some good, strong, rich stuff. And it is really feeding everything in this garden. I mean, we, we've never fertilized any of this stuff. And everything in here is green and awesome. So love these rotating chicken pastures you guys ought to try it but i'm thinking seriously about doing wood chips in here next year doing more of that manure and then more wood chips next year so that we can have a garden more like that over there see no real weed problems the only weed problems are the ones we just don't get on top of but easily manageable eventually we're gonna have the chickens rotating over to there too and they'll take care of the rest but uh man i love this rotating chicken thing man it's working out great all right, guys, I got to get this video uploaded, but it's been a couple weeks since that last clip, and I wanted to get out here and show you what has been going on so you can see way over in the distance there. Actually, it's only 10 feet. Those eggplants are doing great. Look at those beautiful purple flowers off of them, but the eggplant are growing well. They're doing awesome. The peppers way over there are doing awesome, but the beets, the beets are doing fantastic. They're, they're getting huge right here. Um, amazingly enough, because it's pretty hot and it's pretty late in the year for beets, but our green beans, you see all the flowers there? This was the main purpose. We love doing our own canning for green beans, pickles, beets, and so we plant a lot of all that, but our green beans, look at that. They're out of control, and we are gonna have so many green beans to can. 
it's going to be awesome and you can already see the green beans are starting to come in little guy right there all up these vines and then we've got you know flowers coming on so these things will produce all the rest of the summer now we've got our weed patch that uh, we just let get out of control but the coolest thing going on right now oh and i want you guys to know something we never fertilize there is no fertilizer in this garden this is all 100 percent just dirt chicken manure grass clippings that kind of stuff no fertilizer so all of this is natural and uh pretty impressed with that now this corn we started late and you know what they say corn should be knee high by the fourth of july well this stuff was probably about six inches by the fourth of july but now here we are august 8th and it is just shooting up and i have a feeling it's because of all the rich chicken manure in that soil look how deep green these guys are look at the pollen look at these little pollen sprouts i don't know what you call them exactly but we planted these close together so they would pollinate really easily but look at all this corn we are going to have so much corn it's absolutely amazing and this is just a testimony to this chicken method and how well it works i mean the fertilizer from the chicken poop all winter long and they do all the tilling for you i'm telling you guys i'm selling that tiller and we're just using the chickens from now on this is the way to go. Look at this beautiful, beautiful corn. And it shot up so fast, even though we got it planted late. Had to show you guys that. Hope you enjoyed it. Have an awesome day. Adios. Well, I was hoping to show you guys a little bit prettier garden than that. One that's a little more aesthetically pleasing to the eye, but that's not going to happen because obviously there's weeds completely overgrown and taken over that garden, except for the areas we're not letting them take over, like the green beans. That's really, really important to us, the green beans, because like I said, we go through a ton of those dilly beans through the winter, and it's a good way to push vegetables on your kids because, you know, kids just don't like vegetables, but the dilly beans, they scarf down, so... Hope you guys like this video. If you like it, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to follow along. If you have any ideas or comments or you want to just let me know if you think I should be doing it different or if you like my system, if you don't like my system, um, if you see the vision for the future, it's all still, we're trying to figure it out and that's why the weeds, but next year we're going to get a much earlier start. But if you guys have other ideas, let me know down below, man. I'm game. I want to hear them all. So, like I said, I hope you guys like this. Subscribe, like it. Follow along. Have an awesome week. I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.